Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with extrude feature with Creo Parametric 5.0. We will start from scratch and at the beginning it's necessary to define the name for the 3D model. I will start to create the extrude, extrude feature directory from the ribbon. So you can see here that it's possible to select the icon or is the possible to use the map key X from the keyboard. If you select the feature, you need to select the sketch plane and system will automatically jump the sketch. You can see that right now I can see the new ribbon where is the possible to define the line, rectangle, circle or base sketching feature. A system will always orient in, in 3D as a default. So for example, if you would like to jump to 2D orientation, you can select this icon sketch view and system will orient the sketch to 2D. If I will create, for example, rectangle, so you can see here the system automatically create the dimensions and is the possible to set some custom new value and automatically system regenerate the sketch. For confirmation OK, you can see the system will jump again to, to 3D and you can specify the depth. The specification of the depth is possible by dragger, so you can choose the side or you can use the arrow. Specify the depth, for example, 300 and confirm OK. For now, I don't want to use the datum planes, so visibility of the plane, the display, I can switch off. How to orient model? You can see right now that model is always oriented around the spin center. So this is the point directly in the middle of the object. If you want to use the orientation based on the mouse, don't use the spin center. And right now the system will spin the model around the mouse. If you would like to zoom in, zoom out, you can see the system going directly to the mouse. I said that if you use the another extrude feature or extrude feature and if you select the sketch plane, the system will always leave the orientation in 3D. You can change it. So I'd like to show you how you can manage your configuration options. So directly in File, Options, it's the possible to select Configuration Editor. And we will add the new configuration options. And the name is, yeah, I like to use the function for type of keyboard and over there is the Starts. And I'm looking for the sketched Sketcher starts in 2D. You can see the default is the no, and I like to jump to the yes and add change and close. You can confirm OK, and system will ask you if you would like to save this new configuration options directly to your default config profile here. You can confirm yes and save it, or for now I'd like to just only use it. So the system will remember my selection. And how is look? If you select extrude feature and you will select sketch plane, the system will automatically orient to 2D. It's no problem, you can jump to 3D, you can spin the model, and if you would like to jump again to 2D, the select sketch view. You can continue with creating of the another sketching geometry. So for example, I'd like to create some another base shape and set some value. So for example, new value will be this one. And right now you can see that if I will come from OK, the system would like to add the material. If you go inside, the system automatically remove the material. Over here is the icon for the remove. So you can jump and add or remove the material. If you finish your feature and if you select edit definition, the system right now doesn't recognize if you would like to add or remove the material. The system will remember 
the last configuration what is set specified. If you would like to add material, it's not a problem, you can add and system will add material always. So be careful if you finish feature or not. Okay. Would like to specify some other options. Yeah. And for example, I like to create some chamfer here because I like to use and show you some another option what is possible to do with extrude feature and the spinning of the orientation will be this way. It will be okay. I will select the new extrude feature and right now maybe we can select the surface and over here the system automatically show you in the small flyout menu that is the possible to create a sketch extrude revo feature and so on so for example extrude feature and right now again we'll continue with base, with base shape with rectangle specify dimensions and if you come from ok you can see that it's possible to specify the depth in the options you will see a better configurations so you can see here that i can select for example to select it and i like to select that surface the system automatically continue with following the selected shape and here you can specify if you would like to offset yeah, from the selected surface and system will automatically measure as an offset or you can use the function as an extrude for translation and you can specify the number of the offset in the selected reference and for example 25 the question is if you can specify it in one direction if it is possible in two directions yes it is possible so for example i'd like to show you here on the opposite side so again i will create really quickly the chamfer feature here and we will create new datum plane as sketch plane so if you would like to select that surface but it's not visible here you can select right mouse button and then left mouse and system allows to you to create datum plane and this new datum plane will be for new extrude feature and for example that shape and over here I'd like to explain to you the depth options yeah this tutorial is focused on the depth options so you can see here that it's the possible to use the dragger it's the possible to use right mouse button and you can choose if you would like to select the symmetric yeah, value for the extra feature or you can choose it here so we have three options how to specify the depth and how to manage it use the base icon or directly in the dragger you can use the right mouse button again i like to use the function to select it and the first direction will be to select it here but i like to offset value so i like to go back a little bit for example five millimeters yep and the second direction again i like to use the to select it for example that surface and then i like to use the translation so i i like to expand it a little bit more so for example 10 millimeters yeah or something bigger it's no problem you can change it anywhere so it was some really nice example how you can manage the extrude feature and the depth option with Creo Parametric 5.0 stay tuned Bye-bye, Vladimir. -bye.